So if you are fully vaccinated, what are you now allowed to do? Today, the CDC put out some new guidelines to sort out any confusion, and NBC4's Gordon Tokumatsu walks us through the changes. So can you start doing this right away after you get your shot? The answer is no. You're going to have to wait a couple of weeks. That's two weeks after your second Pfizer or Moderna shot, two weeks after your single Johnson & Johnson shot. I'd wait till both of both the doses. Jessica Engel told us the new CDC guidelines are great news for her and her family. For the first time in months, the agency is actually issuing directives that include gathering indoors without a mask. The big catch, though, is that everyone has to be vaccinated. My grandma lives with my parents, so hoping to get vaccinated so I can have more access to her. The guidelines do allow vaccinated people to gather indoors and maskless with people who have not been vaccinated, but only if everybody inside is not at increased risk for severe illness. But that... So how do you know? is where NBC's nurse Alice Benjamin says things can get a little confusing. Is everyone going to be truthful? Are we going to show our cards? Alice says it's easier to spot someone who's elderly or in late-term pregnancy, but there are other people at increased risk who are harder to recognize. Certain heart conditions, diabetes, obesity. I feel more comfortable actually wearing the mask. Jessica says whichever version she gets, she will err on the side of caution. We asked, would she get everyone together for a dinner inside her parents' house? If all of my family had been vaccinated, yes. Friends, I don't know about. I'd Why have not? to. It just, I, you know, I've kind of gotten used to this. She says she can tolerate a few more weeks or months of mask wearing even after vaccination because after coming this far, better safe than sorry. In San Fernando, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News. Riverside.